The next thing that I want to show you is how we go ahead and create a report in itself. So the next thing that I'm going to do is, again, I'm going to return to the bottom left-hand corner where you see the plus sign. I click on plus, and I'm going to go ahead now and this time create a report instead of a dashboard. This time I'm going to go ahead and create a dashboard with a blank template and just click on OK. So now you're going to see, it's going to ask me, well, what do I want to do? I've got a plus sign over here. If I click on the plus sign, I'm going to now say I want to create a cross tab, similar to what you would do as an Excel type uh, report. It's more cross tab oriented. So I'm going to click on that and I'm just going to click on the defaults of OK. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to select my source again, clicking on the plus sign over here or select source. Either one will work. And again, going to go to where my package is that I have for SAP Business One, select it, and click on Open. I have the information available to me. I open up the order book, and again, we're going to be focusing in on AR. I open up my key figures, and I can see all the information that's available to me from that perspective. So right now, we're working in page design mode. I'm just going to switch myself now over to page preview mode. And that's going to allow me to see the information on the canvas as I drag and drop it onto the screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that invoice total and paid total and just drag it right onto the canvas where the columns are. So I've got my information that I was showing before, that 15 million and that 14 million respectively. Again, I'm going to show you how to do a calculation in the cross tab. It's very straightforward. All I have to do is click on the columns that I want. Control click the second one, and you'll see a smart menu that shows up at the top that allows me to insert a calculation. I click on the drop down. It's intuitive enough to know what I want. Is it a plus, a minus, a subtraction, a division, a multiplication? I click on the one I want. And there it's going to give me that calculation. I might not lock the, like the description that's there, so I can just double click on the, the actual description and say, I want to call this now. I want to change the name of this. I want to call it Outstanding and click on OK. The next thing that I want to be able to do is I want to bring some context into this information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take my customer folder, open up my bill to where my general information is, and I'm going to go ahead and drag my information as it relates to customer group. And it's going to give me all the information of my invoice total, my pay total, and my outstanding by customer group. All that information available to me. But I want to do some more information. I want to actually give it some information and look at it not only by customer group, but by salesperson. So I'm going to take the salesperson and I'm just going to nest that information right to the right. So now what I'm looking at is I'm looking at all of my customer groups, but now it's giving me a breakdown by salesperson. So what I want to be able to do is have some sort of subtotal available. All I need to do is click on the one that I want. I'm going to click on actually both of them. And I'm just going to go ahead and say, create a total. So now I'm seeing for others, I have 4.3 million pay total and a 476,000 outstanding. If I scroll down to one more page, I'm going to see some other ones that are showing up as well. So that's the way you can see your subtotals. 